the top stories, SKNLP administration holds first meeting of cabinet. PM Joe issues call to action for citizens and residents, and government announces financial assistance for medical emergencies. The details on these stories and more after the break. Be ready for school with the coolest deals from Corpse. Free gift with your back-to-school purchases, plus big discounts on cell phones, computers, printers, televisions, and more. Shop today with no cash and get instant credit on three to 48 months credit plan. Save big with great deals and head back to school in style. Only from Courts, bringing value home. Conditions apply. Mosoka, 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 Mosoka. Hello and welcome to the ZIZ Channel 5 Newscast. I'm Carla Berridge. The newly sworn in cabinet ministers of St. Kitts and Nevis Labour Party administration met for the first time on Monday morning at government headquarters. In a brief address to the cabinet, Prime Minister Honorable Dr. Terence Drew noted the importance of the work they do and their pledge to serve the people of the Federation. He also pointed out that they have already begun to work with the decision to remove restrictions for travel to St. Kitts and Nevis have indicated a waiver until we would have sorted out all of the necessary channels. So there's a waiver now. So at this present moment, our people can travel to St. Kitts and Nevis without any restrictions at all. They don't need to do any test. Um, and they're given the option to upload their information, which will make uh, processing at the airport much easier for them. And all of this is based on sound scientific advice. He said it was equally important that they keep the people informed. As we set forth our agenda, that we stay in constant communication with the people so that there can be constant feedback between us and the people so that we make sure that we stay on the path that we have put forth and the people have given us the mandate to follow. The St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party came into office after winning six of the 11 seats in the federal elections on August 5th. A call has been made for nationals and residents of St. Kitts and Nevis to raise the level of political discourse and summon a renewed spirit of patriotism in pursuit of a better economy, improved health care, enhanced educational opportunities, a healthier environment and stronger structures of good governance. The call to action was made by Prime Minister Honorable Dr. Terence Drew while addressing thousands who physically and virtually attended the swearing in of cabinet ministers on Saturday at Warner Park Cricket Stadium. Let us all work hard to resist the temptation of falling back into the divisiveness, selfishness, pettiness, and immaturity that poisoned our politics for so long. True and enduring progress can only come when we move from a state of independence to a dynamic interdependence. The Prime Minister reflected on the great victory at the August 5th polls, which saw six members of the St. Kitts and Nevis Labour Party capturing the eight seats contested in St. Kitts. He noted that healing must now take place to bridge the divides and transform the Twin Island Federation. I said to those voters whose support we have yet to earn, and to our Nevision, brothers and sisters, and to our Nevision, brothers and sisters, who may not have casted their vote directly for the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party, I want you to know that I value your voices. I need your help, and I will also be your Prime Minister. Prime Minister Honorable Dr. Terence Drew. 
The Prime Minister has promised that his newly sworn in government will assist parents who need financial assistance to get the necessary overseas medical care for their sick children. While addressing thousands at the swearing in ceremony of his cabinet at the Warner Park Creek Stadium on Saturday, Prime Minister Drew, who is a medical doctor by profession and the Minister of Health, spoke of the impact that this has had on him. My heart aches. Our heart aches for those parents who have lost their little ones, especially those who have recently passed away. We cannot bear to see parents and children suffer in this manner. Therefore, your government will ensure that it provides the financial assistance needed for any child who must seek special medical care overseas. He also spoke of the improvements intended in the Ministry of Health. As your Minister of Health, I endeavor to ensure that health care is vastly improved for all of us, from patient care to nursing, from increasing supplies of prescription medication to more advanced equipment, from better wages for our health care workers to improved health care facilities. Therefore, I have instructed that a brand new MRI machine be procured forthwith and our JNF hospital and be installed at the hospital within the coming weeks. That was the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew speaking during the swearing-in ceremony of Cabinet on Saturday. The St. Kitts National Youth Parliament Association, SCANIPA, has congratulated four SCANIPARIAN alumni who took the oaths of office, allegiance and secrecy at the swearing-in ceremony of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party administration on Saturday. One of SCANIPA's founding fathers, Honorable Dr. Jeffrey Hanley, was appointed Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Education, Youth, Social Development, Gender Affairs, Aging and Disabilities. Meanwhile, Honorable Conris Maynard, an alumnus of SCANIPA, was sworn in as Minister of Public Infrastructure and Utilities, Information, Communication and Technology and Post. Two SCANIPA alumni have also been appointed as Senators, Honorable Isolin Phillip, and Honorable Dr. Joel Clack, who will also serve as Minister of Sustainable Development, Environment, Climate Action, and Constituency Empowerment. Moriel Knight, president of Skanipa, is quoted as saying, I am proud of the accomplishments of our former members. They have each, in their own way, demonstrated a will to place country above self. I am confident that the training received during their time at Skanipa will go a long way in allowing them to execute their duties. He also encouraged them to serve with dignity, integrity, and a renewed sense of patriotism as he wished them the best. The youth organization also congratulated Prime Minister Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas, Honorable Samuel Duggins, Honorable Marsha Henderson, and Honorable Gath Wilkin. After the break, 16th annual traditional musical workshop underway, and Socrates among SPBS honorees. Stay with us. Elevate your experience with Flow's fiber-fast internet and mobile combined. Enjoy double data and unlimited talk on four mobile lines. Plus up to 35 megabits per second home internet speed at the best rate, giving you the best value to stay connected. Hon, I think our Flow Mobile is elevated. You think? An elevated experience starts with Flow at home powering double data and unlimited talk on four mobile lines at the best rate. Visit the Flow store to sign up today. When my mom was a child, my grandma was only able to provide just what they needed. When my mom got older, she was then able to provide what they needed and some. But now, with FlexPay, I am able to get everything we need and lots more with cashback.
For the last 25 years, SL Hospitals Company Limited has given customers millions in cash back for free groceries with every higher purchase in their never ending cash back. It's powerful, it's fast, it's my type of cricket. Bring it on! The 60 is exciting. It sounds like boom blast. It's going to be a game full of strategy. Pollard, fast pace, Dray Ross, action packed. Bring your A game. Great for the viewer. I'll be waiting. People are going to come out swinging from the goal. Come on, what more can Caribbean people ask for? See you in St. Kitts for Cricket's Power Game. I cannot wait for it to start. Are you ready for the 60? Welcome back. The 16th annual traditional musical workshop is currently underway at Zach's Historical Cultural Library and Museum. In an interview with ZRZ News on Monday, cultural preservationist Winston Zach Nisbet said the focus this year is on the banjo and the fife. This year, we are trying to focus on the banjo, the banjo, the ukulele banjo as well as the fife. The fife is an essential commodity. It is the richest thing we have. And I, ha I am sure that we all have seen the bands, both the mummies, giant spear, and those bands, they are performing without a fife. And that, wa that is one of the key factors we are going to factor in this. He noted that not only will the children learn how to play the fife, but also how to make them, which he says is a tedious process. The fife is a scientific piece of art. The, you cannot cut the fife in moonlight. It must be done in dark night. If you do that, the fife after a while becomes, just start to disintegrate. You just see it get powdery, even when you're doing fences and you cut it in moonlight, you just see it start to deteriorate, just, just take apart. Because you, it's something scientific about it that you had to follow. And not only that, you have two types of five. You have the she bamboo and you have the he bamboo. Nisbet added that after the workshop, there will be a graduation held for the students and following that, a competition will be held involving the students from the workshop. When they finish here, on the 27th, when we have the graduation, they won't be getting any competition. Because the tune we played was Fan Me Chinese Man, Fan Me, one of the all-time tunes. But at this time, they will be they are ready at some time shortly after I am going to seek a sponsorship and we are going to have the competition with those who came out of the workshop whether $500 first prize, second prize, but I'm going to get it I know definitely I'm going to get it. The 16th annual traditional musical workshop is being facilitated by musician and vocalist Moby Kuso Philip with Amaha Isaac being the Fife instructor. The workshop this year is being guided by the theme Independence Awareness. Sylvester Socrates Hodge has been named among the 2022 honorees at SPBS annual banquet and award ceremony in September. The honorees are selected from a group of nominees and the winners determined by the number of votes received in a secret ballot process. This year, Sylvester Hodge emerged with the highest number of votes from a group of eight nominees. In a statement, President of the SBBS, Stuart Williams, was quoted as saying, As a non-profit organization, we rely heavily on the diverse contributions of several stakeholders here in the U.S. and in the wider diaspora. We also benefit from the input of our chapter organizations in St. Kitts and Nevis and Anguilla. Against this backdrop, we are pleased to recognize the people who are the proverbial cog in the wheels of the SPBS and congratulate all our honorees, including Mr. Sylvester Hodge. Socrates has won 17 Calypso titles altogether at various levels at home and abroad. Among his, his achievements as a musician, Calypsonian, are a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Calypso Fraternity of Antigua and Barbuda and the Best Solo Performer in the Performing Arts by the Department of Tourism. In more recent times, he received a national award for his contribution to the development of culture through Calypso. 
The other honorees who will be recognized at this year's banquet and award ceremony are Eloise Herbert, Karinja Phipps, Tessa Allen Denehi, and Jacqueline Payne. The SBBS Awards and Banquet Ceremony will be held on Saturday, 3rd September at the Maestro's Caterers in the Bronx, New York. His Excellency Ian M. Quealy, OACS Ambassador to the Kingdom of Morocco, will be the patron. German Irish is the first graduate of the Kickstart Brilliance Preschool located in Limekiln. Now in its first year, the preschool held a graduation ceremony to honor its lone graduate at a ceremony attended by family, friends, and well-wishers. Founder of Kickstart Brilliance Preschool, Tashiva Clack, congratulated Germaine on advancing to primary school and offered words of encouragement. It was a pleasure having you at Kickstart Brilliance Preschool. A year might have sown long, but it was a very short year with Germain. And Germain, as you enter primary school, I want you to know that the work is going to get hard. But I just want you to know that you should never, ever give up Germain. No matter how hard it may seem, if you try something and you fail, Germain, don't be afraid to try. The certificate of completion was presented to Germain by Juliana Powell of the Early Childhood Development Unit. Preschool Diploma, Kickstart Brilliance Preschool. This is to certify that Germain Irish is a graduate of the Kickstart Brilliance Preschool, has completed preschool and is awarded this diploma in recognition of his accomplishment from September 2021 to September 2022. Congratulations, Jermaine. This is your certificate. ZZ understands that five-year-old Jermaine will be attending the Eppert Morris Hillian Memorial Junior School in September. Come up in regional news, prostate screening in Antigua and Barbuda well attended. The details when we come back. Here are your hot plus value mass IG value club blue tax specials from August 11th through 24th. Downy Fabric Softener $23.99. Essential Everyday Chocolate Chip Cookies $12.99. Sweet Baby Ray Barbecue Sauce $9.99. La Yogurt $2.99. Eggo Waffles $13.99. Ajax Dish Detergent $4.99. And now our very low weekly value deals. Old Orchard 100% Apple Juice $9.99. Bugles or Chex Mix, just $9.99. Peter Pan Peanut Butter, $10.99. Tropicana Punch Juices, $7.99. Almond Hammer Deodorants, $8.99. Stone Ridge Ice Cream, $18.99. Shop Smart, Shop Value Mart. Sea Listo, Yago Sus Compras Akia, Value Mart. Want to get away? Now you can. Stop standing in long ATM lines to withdraw cash. Use your national debit or black cards to complete a wide variety of transactions at supermarkets, variety stores, gas stations, pharmacies, and more. Shop online at the most popular websites and stores for quality brands using your national debit or black cards. And take back your time to enjoy all the things that you love to do. Remember, instead of waiting in long ATM lines to withdraw cash, use your national bank cards today. National Bank. Always here. 